All right, so in the previous lesson, we learned how to install WordPress. And we got to look at a little bit how the cPanel works, and we actually installed WordPress on our website. And just a recap of what our website looks like, our website currently looks a little bit something like this. And we see that's very simple. Nothing has been changed to it, just the default template of WordPress. So in this lesson, we're going to be learning about the WordPress dashboard. And that's where we're going to be editing our WordPress website. And just a very quick overview of what we're going to learn in this lesson is we're going to learn about the front end versus the back end. And this is just terminology that we kind of have to get squared away. And we're also going to be taking a quick tour of the dashboard. And so the first thing we're going to be talking about is what's the difference between the front end versus the back end. And put very simply, the front end is what users see. It's at yourdomain.com. So for example, wpforalltv.com is the front end. It's what users actually see. Versus the back end, that's what the admin sees or what the editor of the website like us will see. And it's where all the edits and the changes are made. And it will be accessed at yourdomain.com slash wp-admin. And that's universal for all websites. Uh, and we'll take a look at how to actually access this back end. And this back end is also called the dashboard. It's where we access the dashboard. So now that we have this terminology squared away, how do we actually access the dashboard or the back end of WordPress to our WordPress website? And so if we recall from the previous lesson, uh, when we actually installed WordPress, I told you to hold on to a couple things, which was your admin area URL, your username, and your password. And if you didn't copy and paste those somewhere into a note, uh, you should have received an email as well, as long as you inputted a correct email address. Right? So we're just going to pull that up, and we're going to click on the admin area. And when we click on the admin area URL, which is always going to be your domain.com slash WP dash admin, you're going to enter in your username and your password. And you're going to see something like this with the little WordPress logo up here indicating that, you know, this is a WordPress website and you're just going to log in. So in this next window, you'll see this is actually the WordPress dashboard. And this is where we're going to make all our changes to our website, any edits, any addition of a new page, a new post adding pictures, whatever you want to do, this is where you're going to do it if you want to make any changes to your website. And so I'm actually going to go over all these different menu items in the future lessons, but I just want to kind of show you a very brief overview of the dashboard and some things that we need to change right away. And the first thing that I want us to change is if we recall that we had that password, that password that was very long um, and impossible to memorize. So we want to change that. So how do we do that? We're going to go into something called the users, right? And when we click on that, we'll see that these are the different users. And when you have multiple users, say, for example, you allow uh, multiple people to sign up for your website, you'll have a bunch of them listed here. For now, we only have us as the single user. And we're just going to click edit. And when we see here, we can change a bunch of different things. Uh, I won't actually go through all of these. We can kind of just browse through them uh, on our own time. But the one thing that I do want to change is our passwords. So we're just going to change our password to something that's more memorable and also something that's secure as well. And then we're just going to click update profile. And this will be the password that we'll need when we have to log into our WordPress dashboard. All right, so the next thing I want to talk very briefly about, I'm definitely going to be talking about more in detail in the future, is just to go over some of these menu items. Um, so the first thing being the most important is probably going to be your post. And so post is where you add any new post. And uh, I'll actually talk about how to edit those in the future. But for now, we just know that posts are things like blog entries. Um, media is going to be somewhere that when we want to add new pictures or anything like that, we're going to add that to the media library. Pages is where we're going to actually add static pages. And I'll talk about what the difference between a page and a post is. And I'll talk about that in the next lesson, actually. Here is the comments. So this is where we're going to actually edit all the comments. And in appearance, there's a couple of different things that we'll need to use in the future, uh, such as the themes. Also, we'll need to know widgets in the future, how to customize them. And also, editors is needed when we have to customize any CSS code. Uh, and then the next one being your plugins. And so there's a couple pre-installed plugins. And I'll actually talk about in a future video which plugins you need to not only optimize your website in terms of speed, but also in terms of search engine optimization, and also just for functionality. And we talked about users briefly before, how we add a new user or maybe edit your profile. And in the future, I'll actually talk about something that's very important, which are these roles. Um, and the roles are used maybe if you want a membership site or if you have multiple authors. And we'll talk about settings more in the future and kind of the best settings that you should have for your website. And that's it for this lesson. But in the next lesson, we're going to actually start customizing our website. And what we're going to be doing is looking at how to change our WordPress theme. 
And we're going to show you how to install it and also how to select the proper theme for your website.